Hi Taurus, this is a general love reading for mid-April 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person's other signs if that is the case. Also, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, so let's see. What's the overall energy for Taurus? Mid-April. All right, we have new direction and fear. Okay, so it could be that you're thinking about taking a new direction, but there might be some fear that's holding you back, or this definitely could be your person. But I see that you really, if this is you, I feel like this is a direction that you, your intuition is telling you or guiding you towards. All right, so let's get into it and see. And it doesn't necessarily have to be regarding a relationship, but because this is a love reading, it's most likely going to be that, all right? So let's see, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so for your energy, we have the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Hermit. All right, so yeah, you there's something that you're trying to walk away from, possibly, or a direction that you want to move towards, but there's some hesitation. I feel like you deep down you do know what it is that you want, because I do also see some determination here, possibly having made a decision, but I feel like it's something that you're still thinking about. Let's see for them. The Two of Swords the King of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. All right. So it could be actually, I mean, this King of Swords could be someone else. It could be the person that you're dealing with here. All right, and it could be that you're you're wanting to walk away from them, but still thinking about it, and so therefore you're you're hesitating a little bit. For them, I feel like they are kind of like at a standstill. Um, I feel like this is a person who definitely has some kind of passion for you. I feel like they would want a new beginning. But for whatever reason, I feel like they're not taking much action at the moment on that. Let's see what's coming up in the near future. We have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. And the final message here for you is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so yeah, it's a little bit, it, this is kind of like a mixed reading because I do see some kind of action happening um, in the near future, but I feel like somebody is going to be a little bit guarded or holding back. So it could be, for example, that um, you're taking action but still holding back, or maybe this person's taking action towards you and you're, you're a little bit guarded when it comes to some kind of a connection here. We'll see, let's clarify and get into it. Actually, let me move them over a little bit. All right. So, Taurus, let's, let's see that Seven of Swords in your energy. All right, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Magician. This is exactly what I said before. It's like you, your intuition here is guiding you towards taking, I feel this new direction has to do with being um, either single or just really beginning to feel um, better within your own self 
and being independent from someone else or from a certain situation. And what I'm getting here is that I feel like you are manifesting that. It might feel like it's happening slowly because you're still holding on to some fear when it comes to that, but I feel like you are doing it though. All right, you are manifesting that because I feel like, you know, this fear, whatever it is, I feel like your intuition is a lot stronger than that. So I do see you doing that, but it might feel a little bit slow because of the hesitation. And it's, I feel like it's not just hesitation. It might also be a little bit of, um, a little bit of reluctance, kind of like you don't really want to move in that new direction, but your intuition is pushing you so much. So you just kind of feel like you, you have to follow that. Let's see the King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, Temperance, and the Seven of Wands. All right. I feel like, I do feel like this is your person. Um, most likely that you're walking away or a person, all right? It might not be the same person as the one down here, all right, that we are going to be looking into. It could be somebody else or it could be a situation. I feel like you, this is a situation that you have put in a lot of effort towards. Um, you've invested possibly a lot in this. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like you've also invested a lot of time in trying to um, also possibly move away. I feel like that has been something that you have kind of been a little bit resistant towards doing. Um, I feel like you have been very patient also with this situation, it's kind of like, you know, you were giving it time, waiting to see if your efforts are going to pay off. And I feel like they most likely didn't since your intuition is still pushing you um, to move in that new direction. So let me see the hermit. All right, the ace of wands and the fool. See, it's interesting. They have the Ace of Wands too, but I feel like it's for a completely different reason. This is you really thinking and going deep within yourself and thinking about taking that leap of faith, whatever it is, towards that new direction, starting a new path. It might even involve um, reconnecting with another connection, for example. Um, that new path, yeah, it's not necessarily being on your own. When we had the Nine of Pentacles here, I did say that, but I'm also kind of getting that this is not so much about being single, although for some of you, it definitely could be that. Um, but I'm getting that for others of you, this is just about your own self-worth or being um, like just very independent, um, knowing that you can handle things on your own and that you're not attached to a certain situation that you don't want to be attached to or to a, cer a certain person, all right? And I feel like this is you just really thinking a lot and I feel like you've been doing this for a while actually about taking a leap of faith here, taking a risk, moving in a new direction. It might feel like it's unknown. The path is unknown and that's what can um, be scary about it. But I feel like with that, there's something something really exciting that is going to um, come in for you. Like a new, a new door is opening and it might have to do with another connection, possibly somebody you already know. Or maybe it's, it's something, it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. All right, let's see what's going on with this person here. Let's see the two of swords. the ace of cups and the three of cups okay so this is a person here who has a lot of love for you like there's a lot of emotions here i feel like they would want um to come together with you it's like that energy is there but for whatever reason you know they it, i feel like they're not in a, either they're not in a position to take action or they're just choosing not to take action. Kind of like just standing back, not knowing what to do, um, just not really um, engaging and not really having much of, just not having much of a take on what what is going on here. It, it just feels very, very stagnant, even though there's definitely this energy here of them um, 
wanting this. Let me see the King of Wands. All right, the Moon, the Ace of Swords, and the Seven of Cups also have the King of Wands um, show up again. What is going on with this person? I feel like there's something here that's hidden. Um, I feel like they're hiding something or if it, it may have even come out to the open. I feel like for some of them, they probably don't even know what it is that they're hiding. I feel like they're holding on to some fears. They're holding on to some confusions. For some of them, it could be that there is, um, there might be another connection that's involved with them. And so, you know, they might be confused as to which way to go, which um, could be related to that three of cups here as well. Um, but definitely, like I said, it feels like the passion is there. Let me just see that Ace of Wands. Yeah, definitely. This is someone who, who misses you, who would want things to work out, but I don't, I don't understand, I honestly don't understand why we, they're not taking action here. So something else must be going on here. Might be different for each of you, let's see. The Nine of Wands and the Six of Cups. I'm beginning to think that this person might be a little bit, um, it might be a little bit of ego that gets in the way. And I feel like if that is the case, and so they just have like this, um, it's like they have this resistance to coming forward. It's because they're suppressing a lot of um, emotions, possibly things from the past. I feel like there are things that may have happened in this person's past that caused them to have like this um, ego and just showing themselves as really, really strong, you know, really um, powerful, like I don't need anything. But behind that, I feel like something else is being hidden here. It's a lot of insecurity and a lot of confusion. Let me see if I can get some more on this. The Eight of Swords. So yeah, definitely feeling, I don't know what's going on with this person. I mean, this could be temporary, right? This doesn't mean that this is like the main situation overall for this connection. This could just be what is happening currently or during this time period. I feel like they just have um, this, they're just putting up a front. They're putting up a front because there's something else that's hiding underneath that. And I feel like there's a lot of fear, a lot of insecurity um, possibly a fear of, of being trapped. Um, yeah, let's see what's coming up. I, I mean, it's just, it's going to be different for everybody, but I see that this person does have a lot of feelings, which is why I'm trying to get to the bottom of it, but all right, let's see the Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands and the Six of Swords. I feel like this is you um, just really taking that action in that in that new direction. I feel like you're just really on the verge of leaving this behind. I honestly don't know what's going on with this person. You might be just as confused um, for some of you. For others, you might know exactly what it is that's going on here. Whatever the situation though, I feel like, yeah, you're, you're trying to really find that self-confidence within yourself to move away from this because this has been creating a lot of conflict for you. And I see that coming up for you. Let's see the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor. Yeah, this is apparently your person. I feel like there's still, um, like you're in the process of moving away, you're moving in a new direction, and they're, they're here still having their guard up, still being defensive. 
you know, trying to just really maintain um, their cool and their, just their, um, this apparent strength that they're trying to present. But at the same time, I feel like behind that, behind the scenes, it's like they're trying to make sense out of things. They're trying to, um, they might even be doing little things to see if they can somehow reel you back in. All right, but I feel like it's it's going to be with a lot of waiting because I don't think you're going to really um, want to come back in. So I see them, you know, doing something, possibly coming up with a plan, doing little things like, you know, for example, um, you know, nudging you on um, social media or, you know, just, just little things to kind of get your attention and then waiting to see if you're going to come around. But I don't see them you know, really coming forward, stripping off that facade that they have on and, you know, presenting themselves, you know, honestly to you and authentically. At least not, not in the near future. Um, but let me see that three of pentacles. Eight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I you know what? I mean, I I feel like I feel like this person eventually will um, step it up just a bit here with that Eight of Wands. But again, it's going to be in a way where I feel like it's it's. They're, what they're going to communicate and the way they're going to act is going to be, you know, as if they want to move towards something committed, but it's like, again, they're doing it in a way where they're not giving 100%. That's just what I'm seeing here. I feel like with that Three of Pentacles, it's more like they're wanting to give a little bit, but then they're waiting for you to also give to them. But, but it's, I feel like you would want them to just come in full force and try to make things right for whatever it is that was going on here. And I see them doing it in a way where it's going to be like, you know, they want it to be 50-50. Whereas you feel like, no, that's not how the situation is right now. Like, you need to come in full force and convince me. That's what I'm getting here. Um, I mean, of course, you know, this could take a different turn um, later on. This is just what I'm getting for, for now. But let me see that Queen of Cups because that's a really positive card to get as a message here. See what that is. Oh, okay. The King of Swords, the Seven of Swords, again, which was um, you up here, and you also have the King of Swords, all right? So both of these cards showed up for you, and then the Empress. So what I'm getting here is that, yeah, you know what? Regardless of what ends up happening with this connection here, but you following your intuition. Um, is only going to lead you to, to great things. All right, it's like, you know, this is you on the one hand being determined and on the other hand um, hesitating, as I said before, right? Wanting to move in that new direction, but there's that but. But that's why you have the Empress here and the Queen of Cups showing you that, yeah, following your intuition, which is what I said <laughs> earlier, it's guiding you towards that new direction, that is leading you to really embody um, the Empress within you, all right? Regardless of whether you are male or female watching this, it doesn't matter, all right? That is what is going to bring you to a state of feeling fulfilled within yourself, abundance, love. Like, I feel actually this doing that, that new direction, moving away and overcoming those fears is what's going to also lead you to love and lead you to something beautiful, all right? And it could be with this person, maybe, eventually, um, and for others of you, not. I, either way, it's leading to something beautiful. All right, Taurus. Free yourself. I didn't even get to really shuffle, but that one flipped over. 
Um, so yeah, this is the final um, message for you. It says, it's time to take back control of your life. All right, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated and thank you guys so much for watching. Much love.